A racial justice protest took place at the university today following an incident on April 5th where racial slurs were being shouted targeting minorities who live at the Black Scholars Living Learning Community in Argenta Hall. Colo 8 News Now's Nick Doyle shows us why students want change. Shouted UNR students who are outraged by the reoccurring racism on campus. UNR, answer our call! UNR, answer our call! Recently, an incident involving racial slurs targeting black students occurred. On the seventh floor of Argenta on, on April 5th, early in the morning, uh, there was a student uh, who, is now present, who is now coming forward as claiming a person of color. Um, they were on the seventh floor yelling slurs, which is a, a learning living community dedicated to students of color. Sparking members of the Wolf Pack to protest on the stairs of the Knowledge Center. We just want to end the tolerance on campus. This is a, an ongoing issue for many, many years. Our biggest goal here is just to be heard and to put something in place to better support students of color of UNR because we are a part of UNR. Students say they're exhausted by the ongoing race war, even off campus. I'm tired. Growing up in Reno, it's not even just a university thing. It's, it's an issue that our country's history has been trying to fight for years. So Reno as a community, is, is a bigger problem than just on this, on this campus. We want peace. Sometimes school can serve as an outlet or an escape for people, no. but not everyone feels safe on campus. We don't want to live in a dorm hall where we eat, sleep, or away from our families, and hearing these slurs being said about us, that's not what UNR is about. Feeling worthless. Um, I feel um, sometimes stupid when I have to speak out and speak my mind, but it's something that needs to be said and needs to be done. The Black Student Organization says they will meet with President Sandoval tomorrow on April 16th. I'm proud. I'm proud. I'm proud. We'll update you as you learn more. Reporting in Reno, Nick Doyle, Colo 8 News Now.